acts of presidential pardons uh, always have the ability to be uh, provocative and also, um, you know, unleash a flurry of uh, media commentary on that. Um, we've been lucky that the last two presidents, uh, Barack Obama and before him, George W. Bush, did not really have very controversial pardons. But going back to the Clinton administration, President Clinton, as his final act in office, pardoned the billionaire Mark Rich, and that was a very controversial pardon uh, at the time. In those, in that same token, and following those same lines, uh, the expected pardons coming out of the Trump administration um, also register a very partisan reaction to them. Uh, a lot will matter on who he is pardoning how he's pardoning them, whether preemptively or after the fact, and how controversial the alleged crime or confirmed crime that uh, these uh, people uh, were facing or ha uh, might face uh, really is. And um, there's a lot to suggest that, um, you know, the public is very split on the issue of the Trump-Russia probe and that investigation and also very wary. So pardons that relate to that investigation might even um, curry uh, majority support, uh, depending on how independents break. Um, pardons that have to deal with preemptively pardoning uh, his own family members, comes off his family members. Um, in the recent public, uh, on the most recent public polling, it's a very split issue. It's uh, almost 50-50, uh, with a slight majority saying that he shouldn't be doing that. But that's also subject to uh, how the pardon is framed the, the message around. In our own question uh, for the Hill Harris X daily question, uh, we asked whether or not, um, broadly speaking, um, voters uh, supported the pardoning of family members, so no names included, and 45% said yes, uh, as well as 8 out of 10 Republicans, and 55% uh, said no, um, uh, including 8 out of 10 Democrats, and also a majority of independents. So uh, look for it to be an issue that will play out over the course of the next few weeks, um, a very partisan issue but an issue that might register some um, uh, some surprises uh, in terms of the public's or voters' reactions to them, depending on who it is and how controversial the alleged crime or confirmed crime that they faced was, especially with crimes around the Trump-Russia probe and that investigation.